astronomers figure out what powers those huge gaseous ultraviolet radiation spewing clouds in space. Lehman alpha blobs are enormous. You have to think several times the size of our galaxy. Brightly glowing concentrations of gas in the distant universe. Discovered about 20 years ago, they've mystified astronomers ever since. The uh, scientists are trying to figure out what causes them. Academics scratching their heads about the power source fueling their energy output equal to billions of suns. So a group of astrophysicists from China, the U.S., Japan, and Europe found key clues regarding the possible source of the energy powering those rare but beautiful and ultra-massive Lyman alpha blobs, LABS for short, spewing Lyman alpha radiation into the surrounding universe. In a new study published in Nature Astronomy Monday, the scientists posited that LABS energy most likely comes from their interaction with the dense environment of star-forming galaxies. Pointing their attention towards LAB6, a Lyman alpha blob discovered about a decade ago and situated some 18 billion light years from our Earth in the GRUS constellation, GRUS, researchers found evidence that LAB6's hydrogen spectral line is infalling, quote unquote. That is, the blob's hydrogen gas seems to fall inward on itself rather than expanding outwards as observed in other labs. This fact, along with evidence that the gas appears to have a low metallic content, content with metallic fallout a common feature in exploding stars, by the way, the lead scientists, uh, to, uh, led scientists to postulate that the infalling hydrogen gas may have originated in the intergalactic medium, that is, the space between galaxies, and not in the star-forming galaxy itself. Quote, if the gas had come from this galaxy, you should see more metals. But this one, there were not a lot of metals. This indicates that the gas is not contaminated with elements from the star formation. This is what Dr. Zeng, Zeng said, astrophysicist, University of Utah's physics and astronomy department, and one of the co-authors of the study, explaining, speaking to the University of Utah's press service. Labs are known to be associated with giant star-forming galaxies, which create solar massive equivalents to hundreds of thousands of stars every year. Fueled by power equivalents to billions of suns, labs are surrounding these galaxies, formed, forming a massive halo of hydrogen radiation around them, up to hundreds of thousands of light years across. And according to Dr. Zeng, the study of Lab 6 has left a mystery on the scientists' hands. He says, we expect there should be infalling gas around star-forming galaxies, they need gas for materials, but this seems to be the only Lyman alpha blob where gas is falling. Why is this so rare, he said. Lisa Potter, scientist writer for University of Utah Communication, explains, infalling gas can originate several different ways. The second stage of a galactic fountain, if massive stars die, they explode and push gas outward, which alter falls, uh, later falls inward. And another option is a cold stream where there are filaments of hydrogen floating between celestial objects that can be pulled into the center of the potential well, creating the infalling gas feature. The latter is the most likely explain the explanation of lab six structure, scientists believe, given the low levels of metallic dust detected among the gases. But according to Dr. Yiping Ao, the study's lead author, and academic at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, he says there may still be other possibilities in explaining Lab 6. He says if the galaxy has a supermassive black hole in the center, it can emit energetic photons that can travel far enough to produce the emission, he said. So again, this is all theories. They're just hypothesizing what could be causing these uh, huge gaseous ultraviolet radiation spewing clouds in space. Now, this is on Sputnik News. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, 
and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.